So today I'm going to be making turkey egg roll. So I have about a pound of turkey and then I'm going to be using this kind of wrapper uh, to make our egg rolls. So let's begin. What we're going to need for um, turkey egg roll, first of all you're going to need a pound of turkey, some oil, black pepper, oyster sauce, seasoning sauce, salt, egg roll wrapper, vermicelli, eggs, a couple of carrots, onions, cabbage, and some cilantro and green onions. I'm going to first start off by um, peeling my garlic. And this is the easiest way I find uh, to peel garlic, but if you know of a better way, just comment down below because I would love to learn a new way to peel garlic that is easier than this. Um, once you have all your garlic peeled, you're going to chop up the garlic. And I'm doing it the way I find easiest, but if you know another way, like I said, you could do it. All we're doing is we're mincing our garlic to, so that we can fry it with the turkey. Once I'm done chopping up my garlic, I'm going to move on to the next item that we have to do for this dish, which is going to be um, frying the turkey. I'm going to put the pot on the um, stove, put, add some, about two, or, um, two tablespoons of oil, swirl that around so it's coated in the pan, and then I'm going to... Um, throw in my garlic and start sauteing the garlic so that um, the aromatics comes out of that. Once my uh, garlic is um, is uh, cooking on the stove, I'm going to stir it around so it doesn't burn because nobody likes burn garlic. Then I'm going to add my pound of turkey so I can cook that. The reason why I um, pre-cook the turkey before I add it into like the um, the egg roll mixture is because later on it's going to be easier and quicker for the egg rolls to fry up because our meat is already cooked so um our um egg rolls will uh, cook a lot faster and um it won't get burned if you know uh we have to wait for the um meat to cook so i cook it ahead of time just to save time and my egg rolls come out so much prettier too because we're just um you know basically frying the outside of the egg rolls so I'm um, stirring, stirring, and then um, I'm going to start chopping the vermicelli. I already went ahead and soaked the vermicelli for about um, 10 to 15 minutes before you chop it up and drain it, you know. You drain it uh, and then chop it into like maybe two inch lengths. The vermicelli does come like dried. It comes in a um, like a dry package, so you have to rehydrate it. And the way I do it is I put it under lukewarm water for about 15 minutes, and I drain out the water, and this is what you get. So I finished chopping up my vermicelli, and now I'm going to start on my cabbage. I'm just going to use half the cabbage because I'm uh, making 60 egg rolls. So I take out the core cut it in half and start like um, slicing it into like um, thinner pieces like this so that it's easier for us to roll in our egg roll. So I'm going to finish chopping up all the cabbage. And you know the um, adding vegetables to egg rolls, it actually makes the, um, it enhances the flavor inside the egg roll too. And I love vegetables, so um, it, I like to add as min much vegetables as I can into my egg rolls. But some people don't like um, so much um, vegetables. So if you're like, um, you're, you don't like too much vegetables, um, you can, you know, omit or put less of uh, whatever you want and just like, you know, add more meat if you like, you know, so that. Um, the your egg rolls will still come out really good. Um, now I'm just uh, chopping up my white onion and adding it to my egg roll mixture. After that, I'm going to be cutting my uh, green onions. So I'm going to chop this up very coarsely because it doesn't have to be super fine because it's going to go into the egg roll mixture. So, you know, no need to get all fancy or anything. 
So I'm just chopping the green onions and placing it into the bowl. And I'm going to move on to slicing up the um slicing up the cilantro now. So we're just slicing it all up and I'm going to add it to the rest of the mixture. Once I have everything mixed up um, into the um, into the mixture, I'm gonna add my carrots. And carrots add so, um, a bit of sweetness, and I love the color that's in the um, carrot. It adds um, more vibrancy to the dish, you know. And carrots are really good for you too. It's healthy, so definitely adding carrots into it really helps the dish. Um, come together and makes it taste even better now i'm adding the cooked turkey meat into it i did let the turkey meat rest for a little bit um but it's you could put it in there still kind of warm but don't put it in there steaming hot though and now i'm going to be adding um a few eggs i'm going to add two whole eggs to the mixture and then i'm just going to um, with the last egg, I'm just going to uh, use half. I'm going to save the egg whites to help me with uh, when I have to seal the egg roll. Um, so I have about two and a half eggs in there for right now. And I'm adding some salt into the mixture, about a tablespoon. And then after that, I'm adding the seasoning sauce or the soy sauce. And that's about two tablespoons. Um, and... After that, I will be adding some black pepper and uh, I'm just eyeballing it. So it's about like half a, a tablespoon of black pepper. And then I'm adding oyster sauce into the mixture as well. And it's about a two or three tablespoon, however you like. After I add those ingredients, I'm putting on my cooking gloves and mixing um, everything together to combine er all the ingredients together. And you just thoroughly mix everything and I find it so much more convenient to add um, to mix everything with like a kitchen gloves you know so you don't have to get your hands too dirty right and then after you're done with the glove it's easy to like um, you know just throw it away so that you don't really have to you know fuss with that so I'm um, um, mixing everything thoroughly making sure that all the ingredients are combined So it'll take about a few minutes to combine everything because like I said, we're making enough mixture for two um, for two packages of egg rolls, which is like 60 egg rolls total. Um, I'm mixing the egg white, preparing um, uh, for rolling my egg roll. So I peeled the egg roll wrapper and I'm um, putting a generous amount of um, uh, egg roll mix in there. And then I'm sealing everything up with the egg white. So I'm going to continue to do this until all the egg rolls are combined. And this took me actually not too long. It took me about like 20 uh, to 30 minutes to um, uh, roll 60 egg rolls by myself. I mean, it wasn't too bad. I actually en enjoy it. So it, it was really fun for me. I actually don't mind making egg rolls. So once you're ready to fry your egg rolls, you're going to add um, some oil to a pot and make sure that the heat is not too high. About medium um, heat would be sufficient and um, you're going to start frying your egg rolls until it's golden brown. And once it's ready, um, you're going to um, place it on a lined um, sheet of paper towel so that the oil can drain. And this is how your um, finished uh, turkey egg roll looks like. 
I hope you guys um, enjoyed this recipe. If you do try it out, please comment below and let me know how your turkey egg roll comes out. Thank you so much for watching this video and we appreciate you guys. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good day everyone. Thank you.